Titus chapter 2, all right? What we need more than anything is we need older women who are not bitter, who are not spiteful, who are not vengeful, and, 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 and good fortune with finding some of them in Israel. But we need older women that are able to teach younger women. That's what the book says, right? Yes. Is that what the book says? Mm -hmm. We're in Titus right now. Um, what did I say? Chapter 2? Chapter 2, yes, sir. We're going to start at verse 1, though, okay? Oh, yes. Read on, teach. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. You know, sound doctrine means things that is going to help you have good spiritual health. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help you to be in health. It's going to help you to be whole. All right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to speak the things concerning sound doctrine. Come on. That the aged men. That the what kind of men? The aged. What, what, what should they be? Be sober. That means be sober. You know, you walk around circumspectly, not like a bunch of fools. Come on. Grave. Grave means that you're honorable. Be honest. Come on. Temperate. Temperate means that you be sound in mind. You full of self control. Come on. Sound in faith. Sound in faith. Same thing is 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 um um uh, sound. Same word. Same word. Health. Come on. Sound in charity. Sound in faith and sound in charity and, and what which is love. Come on. Affection. Come on. And sound in patience. And sound in patience meaning endurance. Be consistent in endurance. And that the what? The age women. Likewise. Age women, likewise, be what? That they be in behavior. In be what behavior? As becometh holiness. Meaning a woman to be reverent, to be revered. Come on. Not false accusers. Not false accusers. Not You know what I mean? Not false accusers, not a slanderer. Not giving too much wine. Not a drunkard. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. Things, read. That they may teach the young women. So the older women, the aged women are supposed to teach the young women. To be sober. To, to be what? Sober. Not going around accusing them, but to be sober. To love their husbands. To, to do what with their husbands? To love their husbands. To, to teach them how to be affectionate. Teach them how to be fond of their husbands. Come on. To love their children. And to love their children. Now, in other words, this shit ain't automatically in y'all. This is stuff's got to be taught. And you see the reason why women are running short on love today? Because we got a bunch of old ass age, bitter women who done been through shit in their life, death, hell, and she ain't got nothing to offer, no generation coming behind her because her life was pissing shit so she all she got to offer you is pissing, pissing shit. shit. Yeah. Now that's real talk. And that's why women are all jacked up today. It's not going to automatically be in them. Because if that was the case, you wouldn't have to teach. That's right. You have to teach them to love their husband and to love their children. Teach. Mm -hmm. Teach. Teach. Mm -hmm. Teach. You know how to teach people to talk about people, but you don't know how to teach people how to bring them up. Teach. Teach. Mm -hmm. That's what the book says. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it again. It ain't automatically in women no. to love their husbands and to love their children. If it would, then guess what? They wouldn't have to be taught. They got to learn how to love their husbands. And it's supposed to come from a woman that's full of love and have lived a life of love and have demonstrated love. Yes. You know, one of those things we seem to be running short on all the time in this ministry, which is a Proverbs 31 woman. Read verse 4 again. That they may teach the young women to be what? To be sober. Come on. To love their husbands. To love their husbands. To love their children. To love their children. To be discreet. Teach them how to be discreet. Chaste. How to be chaste. Keepers at home. Keepers at home. And watch this. Good. Good. Obedient. Obedient. To their own husbands. And you got a damn woman that's undermining, that, that tears down her husband, slanders her husband, speak evil of her husband. And shit. How in the hell you expect for the younger women to be taught something? And when you go around and see them do the same thing, you the first damn one want to be up in their damn face, want to counsel them. 
with your deceitful, funky ass. See, this is the way this generation need to be talked to. No wonder the Most High raised me up in this time. All this is what women supposed to be able to, older women supposed to be able to teach the younger women. And who's doing that today? Read on. That the word of Yah. And you do all of this for the sole purpose and the sole reason for what? That the word of Yah. Be what? Yah. Blaspheme. Don't so it, nobody can actually speak evil against us or rail against us because we're blaspheming the word. Woman, I'm telling you right now, first of all, woman, you ain't nothing but what your husband tell you you are. Now we getting a bunch of young women that are young that are teaching young women. Because they ain't got all that trash in their ass. They're, these women are something else, man. I'm telling you, man. They do all kind of damn talking behind the scenes. They do, man. A lot of plucking they, they, do, they do a hell of a lot of it. That's all right. Y'all hear you? Ain't nobody getting by none of us. Or getting by none of us. Or getting by. 